This video is sponsored by Altium. Now, another important application of the ChatGPT is debugging the code. ChatGPT will undoubtedly prove useful for you to help debug your code. If you are a programmer, one of the applications of ChatGPT that will undoubtedly prove useful for you is to help debug your code and spot some vulnerabilities. If you ask the ChatGPT to check a piece of code for bugs, it will not only do so, but also explain the bug and an example or more of how you can implement a potential fix. It will give you the details of the bug and how you can fix that bug as well. This screenshot shows you if we write this code, find the bug in the following piece of code, where we have a function. And inside the function, we have a for loop and some integer with the name Kermit. It will give us the details of the error. Let's say, and in this case, the variable Kermit needs to be initialized before being used to compare values in the array. This can lead to unexpected behavior and potentially incorrect results. Let us move to the demo environment. This video is sponsored by Altium, the industry standard and most professional PCB design software on the market. I've used Altium for designing printed circuit boards to build my own custom Arduinos and high-speed on-edge computer vision projects. When I tested other PCB CAD softwares out there, I found that nothing came close to the flexibility, ease of use, and power of Altium Designer. I mean, if you ever worked on PCB design for computer vision applications, you know that transmitting video signals is a very delicate task with many high-speed signals that you have to consider in terms of electromagnetic noise and crosstalk. Altium helps you to easily manage and route high-speed signals with length tuning to ensure that you receive clear image quality on the other end. What's really great is that we have partnered up with Altium to bring you an exclusive discount for our Augmented Startups community. Sign up with the link down below to get 30% off monthly of the perpetual license of Altium Designer. You can also try out Altium Designer for free for the first 15 days. Just click the link down below to get started. Now we are the demo environment here. Let's say we are in ChatGPT. Let me write that code, which I showed you earlier. I'm just going to copy that code here. I will ask ChatGPT to find the bug in the following code. It is giving us that this variable needs to be initialized before being used in the comparison. This could cause a problem. Let me write it like fix this issue of initializing the variable because it remembers the previous prompts or the commands so that it can work on your previous commands. It remembers those commands and acts like an intelligent bot. Let us see what would be the response of this, but it has given us a problem in the code. And this could be a problem in the code because this variable is not initialized. Before using that variable and comparing it, you need to initialize the score. We are still waiting. Let's see the response because many people are using this. This version is available for research purposes. That's why there is a burden on the system. And sometimes we need to get a response from the bot. Now it has given us a solution to this problem as well. It is fixing the issue. The function created with the same name now has initialized integer Kerman with integer max value. The rest of the code is almost the same as a for loop integer initialization, zero less than n plus plus. If an array of i is less than Kerman, return the current minimum. It has initialized that issue here. You can see there is no initialization of this variable. Now we have initialized the variable to the maximum integer value. That's a great thing about ChatGPT. It can even debug your code, and you can even fix the issues with the code. 